What's going on YouTube? This is Ever Spidey Spider Tumblr's coming back at you with another mail call video. So today's mail call video is going to be box number three of my Box Heroes Black Friday boxes. Um, not a really big fan of them right now on their Black Heroes, I mean uh, Black Friday specials. I like them as a subscription. Uh, it looks like a lot of the kind of dumping the back inventory in these boxes again i can't complain they were twenty dollars you're getting one or two box books in there that probably are already worth it uh with two box i want to say two boxes but with two books you're at least getting your twenty dollar value probably so can't complain but it does feel like they're just dumping a lot of inventory so then i have a ebay purchase and then i have another box heroes oh no sorry so it looks like it's going to be two ebay purchases i was going to say short box but it looks like two eBay purchases and the uh, Box Heroes Black Friday book. So, let's go ahead and go off with this one here. It isn't a priority, but I believe, yeah, it didn't feel like it was going to be a slab. So, let me see if I can slide this out without throwing the peanuts everywhere. So, I believe that's going to be the only thing in here. Let me pause real quick. Alright, so I was just double checking, making sure all the peanuts were out of the box. It is going to be a one book. So let's go ahead and see. I have kind of have a feeling. I know what it is. Here recently, um, I bought two, I think, single books. So the other one is probably in the pile of books over there. Unless I bought them from the same person, and they will be in here. But we will find out. Let me get this chair a little more comfortable there. So there we go. Of course, they are whatever this is, because I don't know yet. All I can tell you is that they're saying it is about an 8.5. So let's go ahead and see what I purchased. Get a little bit of tape. I was trying to be a little gentle. Oh, I guess you guys could have already probably seen what it was. But here we go. Sorry, I had to stop real quick. I dropped the cardboard on the floor and I picked it up real quick. So I've been watching Iron Fist. I have, I'm not Iron Fist, uh, Sang-Chi. was never really a big fan of Sang-Chi in comics, but as everything else, you go to watch the show, and then you start wondering, hmm, I wonder what the first appearance of this was, first appearance of that was. So, this is going to be a Masters of, the, of Kung Fu, number 25, and you guessed it, the first appearance of Razor Fist. So they're saying this was about an 8.5, so there we go. I got another Masters of Kung Fu. I'll keep it a secret, but it is another first appearance, and I'm sure everybody's going to know where I went with this, but I believe that's going to be like a... Uh, I think it's a newsstand one as well. I don't know if it was newsstand was popular or not. Um, as a collector, if it was more common or rare back in that time, but I do have another Masters of Kung Fu coming. Another first appearance. Again, this one says it's an 8.5. First appearance of Razor Fist. So glad to add that to the collection. Um, wasn't really going to go crazy on looking at slab prices and all that, so I decided to get myself a raw copy. So let's go ahead and go with this other eBay purchase. See what else I purchased from eBay. Alright, so this says it's coming from Bubba's Comics. Again, I don't know exactly what I got from Bubba's Comics. Um, I really don't pay attention to who the names are on eBay, so I just felt like saying it because he had it written out here, so giving him the shout out. Alright, so we got a lot of tape and a sealed box. He did not want it to get opened. Alright, I think I got a little bit more to go right here. Alright, so it makes it difficult because it's taped right where that part is. So. Not only are you fighting the tape, but you are fighting the sticky part of the box itself. 
And then he cross tapes it, so there we go. All in all, it's out. So let's go ahead and see what we got from Bubba's Comics. So we have some styrofoam, some boxes. Photos inside do not discard. So photos inside, oh, okay, so photos inside of this. It's got me really wondering what I picked up. So bear with me, we have some photos of something or another. Alright, so we have hmm. So I wonder if this was like a Kickstarter. So let me open up the box of books or of whatever it is. And hopefully that will explain a little bit on why the pictures that I received are the pictures I got. All right, so it says, relax, bubble will treat you right. So thank you so much. Again. Um, curious, curious to say the least. All right, so here we go. Put all that in there. Put that in there. Got broken styrofoam all over the floor. Put that in there. <laughs> Gotta do some vacuuming. All right, so let's see how Bubba is gonna treat me right. Maybe it just means because of the packaging. Boy, it's like opening up a coffin. There's so much tape. Alright, so let's see what we got. We need some like what's that Jeopardy music in the background? Dun, 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 dun. send me Bubba. Bubba's Comics. Relax. Bubba will treat you right. Oh, so this is going to be Z-rated. It's going to be a Z-rated book. So maybe explains a little bit of that pictures that I, ow, I poked myself with. I mean, I poked myself just right now. So let's see what I got. Oh, so now it is going to be a Z-rated book, but the reason I got it is it is a... Alright, so this is Totally Red, Life of Violet. This is in a... This is Life of Violet number 4, Virgin Cover, Totally Red. reason I purchased this book was because it is a CGC 9.9. .9. There we go. And it's val uh, variant cover one or I one maybe uh, virgin cover actually. So there's the back, there's the front. Nine point nine. Really, really happy about that. So now, uh, I'm not worried about showing these photos, but let's go ahead and show you guys the photos. So hopefully. Just to let you guys know, I don't offend. It don't look like there's nudity in them. But let's see what we got. Um, looks like maybe one or two pictures. So, looks like two photos. Okay, so the second one is maybe not going to be able to be seen. But there we go. There's the first photo. And the second photo is, let's just say, I'll show you guys a sneak peek of a little bit of it. And that's about as far as I'm going to go. So... Bubba's Comics, thank you so much. Sent me some photos. Um, along with my 9.9 .9 CGC slab, guys. 
Let me just put these back in there. I wonder if these will fit in like a comic book bag. But again, um, this works out perfect anyways, because now, as if you guys have ever seen any of my videos in the past, I do also collect adult magazines, like Playboy magazines and stuff. So I do have a lot of pictures as well, signature pictures and so forth. So I will have to figure out who those are and then kind of just jot it. And I can actually stick those in the boxes of the other magazines I have. So there is a, a good amount in that collection as well. That would be videos for a different time. But let's go ahead and open up this last box. I fought with the packaging on that one a little too long. Let's go ahead and get two box heroes. So before I even get to this, I'm gonna kind of see um, if they do the same route. So of course, the same route as we always get the card. Box heroes card. They've been doing these longer Empire Strike Back collector's cards, which are real nice too. We have a, let's see, a San Julian, San Julian card, I don't know, from 1994, not sure. There we go. We also have our stickers, so we have some Star Wars, some more Pokemon. I bring you face, or I bring you peace, so that looks like um, Rick and Morty. Yeah, Rick and Morty, Black Panther. Flip this book over, go to this side. So what I'm saying is, let's see if they are a little predictable because they have gone King Spawn, Jupiter's Legacy, and Berserker are the first three books. So let's see what we get. First book, Heel Stick, King Spawn, number one. So there we go. They are uh, going for the same. Let's see, Jupiter's Legacy. Boom. <laughs> Jupiter's Legacy, number one. There we go. That cover I have seen. The other two covers I haven't seen. All right. Three for three. Berserker. Boom. Oh, they got me. You know what? And I even went boom real loud for nothing. So we have 52. Week 16. This is a DC comic. And this is... um, No idea. Plus the origin of Black Adam with J.G. Jones. There we go. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed. I really thought it was going to be a Berserker cover. So let's see what we get next. <laughs> so King and Black, number one. So there we go. I was having more fun trying to see if they were going to keep track of what they sent, uh, like the other ones, but there we go. We have House of Slaughter, number one. Okay. So first time I've seen this cover myself. From the world of Something is Killing the Children, House of Slaughter, number one. That drag racer done passed me up already, so here we go. This is X-Men, Kitty Pride. Uh, three of five. There we go, a little bit of X-Men. Next we have Doom Patrol. There it is. <laughs> Doom Patrol number 51. Yep, a little bit of 90s goodness there. Reign of the Superman. Superman in Action Comics. This was the green cover. I cut, cut. If everybody remembers, they did the four covers of these. So there we go. This is The Last Son of Krypton is Back. Was a big thing in the 90s. So Attack Force, or Force Works. <laughs> so Force Works. There we go. Uh, Attack Force. I don't know what I'm thinking, guys. But this is number 16. Last but not least, we have Excalibur. Yeah, I was going to say Nightcrawler. Maybe I am right, maybe I'm wrong. Um, but here we go, Excalibur number 98, back in 1996. So Excalibur was another big one when I was growing up as well. I didn't really get into it, but there was a lot of uh, other books in, in the 90s that kind of never took off really, so... That is going to do it for this unboxing video. If you guys can do me a favor, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Box Heroes. Masters of Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have the CGC 9.9 .9 of Totally Red Life of Violet number 4. Another CGC 9.9 .9 .9 to add to the collection. Bubba's Comics, thank you so much. Box Heroes. Another box of Black Friday. $20 purchase. I'm still not feeling it, but Masters of Kung Fu, 
So that's going to do it for this unboxing video, like I said in a couple seconds ago. But if you guys can do me another favor, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already subscribed. And please hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified with any upcoming video. Again, like I've said in all my other videos, video description down below. Check it out. There are plenty of giveaways to be going um, for the year of 2022. So I hope to see a bunch of winners out there soon. But as always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys on the next one.